Remember when they hated, didn't think we make it Now they break their neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hate yourself, you can't look at me, look at me yeah. You made me But what you should know is that your buddy is a liar and a fucking ripoff artist and he did not design that rap. And what up, what up, what up? What's good with y'all? Oh no, we've been accused of being counterfeits. Oh God, we're frauds, we stole somebody's idea. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Oh God, we gotta get ahead of this before things go happen. We gotta do damage control. <laughs> what are we gonna do? We got a twin, we got a doppelganger. Nina, Nina, Nina. Nita. What? We got a we got a twin. We they, they, this guy said we copied him. What are we gonna do? We gotta burn the car down now? Do we throw it away? No. Grams! Grams! What? Quick! Get out the bathroom! Family meeting! Family meeting! Come on! Come on guys! Meet in the living room! We have to have a family meeting right now! Family meeting! Everybody huddle up! This is the plan, right? Granny, remember how I said I had to drop my car off at Paradox? and we do a new rap. This guy said that we took his idea and we're copying his car. So we have to do uh, damage control and get ahead of this, okay, Granny? Do you think I copied his car? No. Have, have I ever copied anybody's car? No. Have you ever seen me look at a Corvette that had a rap similar to mine? And I was like, ooh, Granny, I'm gonna do this idea. No. So what should I do? How do, I, how do, I, how do we take care of this? Leave the crazy fool alone. <laughs> think so? Mm-hmm. Just leave him alone. Mm -hmm. But he made a video about me. I think I got to make a video back, right? Don't have to. I mean, didn't you didn't you teach That's me what if somebody? Didn't you teach? <laughs> didn't you you taught me if somebody hits me, I hit him back, right? An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Didn't you tell me something like that? That's not in the Bible. <laughs> Granny, the Bible was very wicked. <laughs> have you have you not heard from Revelations? Mm-hmm. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna uh, have a family meeting and we're gonna figure this out. All right. Mm-hmm. All right, ready? One, two, three. On three. Mike, Mike. All right. One, two, three. Mike, Mike. Mike, Mike. Mike, Mike. <laughs> all right, let's go. We're gonna head over to Paradox right now, and I need to talk to Paradox. Me and Paradox need to explain to you guys how this came about. And yeah, so uh, do we take the 350Z to Paradoxes? Mm. I think we're gonna take the 300ZX today. Can you move your car? Driving lessons start today. Oh. <laughs> I like, move my car? <laughs> move it to the, just move it to the middle of the driveway. You remember reverse this? All the way. Yeah, all the way over, push down wow. to the right. Drive it to the corner and make a U-turn. There you go. We got some work to do, but it moved. Bruh, what was that? Apparently strapped in the 300ZX. Uh, letting this thing warm up right now. And we're about to hit the Paradox. And we're about to talk about this uh, fuckery that's going on right now. You know, a little bit of drama, but I'll explain everything to you guys once I get to Paradoxes, and we're definitely going to be jumping into it. Uh, currently, this is going to be the furthest I've drove the 300ZX since it's been uh, tuned and running, but I'm pretty sure the car will be fine. I'm going to just fill up with some E, and then we're going to uh, jet over there. This will be a good little ride through the mountains in this car. That way I can uh, fill the suspension out and everything. So, yeah, let's uh, let's have the Paradoxes, and let's talk about what the title says, man. Oh, snap. So, we get here towards... Uh on our way to paradoxes right now and dude it's freaking snowing up here there's like snow and stuff on the ground that is crazy look at that oh god i hope when we get in these hills that it's not snowy everywhere i am not in the right car to be in the snow man oh this is crazy to make it even worse i am on r triple eights right now so we all know these things do not do well when they're cold or in the rain. Dude, it's really snowing over here. Oh my 
god, this is crazy. Y'all know we're from we're from California, and where I stay in the Bay, it never snows. This is probably my this is my second time in my life ever seeing snow. I swear to God, I've never been around snow. I wasn't I was around snow for the first time in like 2007, dude. It's been so many years since I've seen snow. That's crazy. I really hope there's no no ice. Oh, look, dude, there's ice right there on the ground. Oh, this is gonna suck. Dude, there, oh my God. There's literally ice chunks on the ground. Yep, I, we're gonna cruise through here. I'm gonna play it safe, man. I don't wanna be accidentally drifting through the mountains. This is crazy. There's snow everywhere. Dang, that is wild. Crazy. All right, so <laughs> as we we're going through here, you can see these big clunks in the middle of the road. The lip ended up catching it, and uh, I decided to jump out, pull the lip off, and throw this thing in the back before it went out of the car and freaking broke everything. So we're gonna leave this in here like this, and we're gonna head over to Paradox's. That's crazy. <laughs> that is wildness. All right, so we're getting up this mountain and you're starting to get into way more snow. Damn, that is crazy. I know it's snowing up here also. I would have took a different car. Yeah, it's just getting here. <laughs> there was snow on the road and freaking <laughs> got in there. I became a freaking snow plow. Snow plow. Oh, you wrecked your not I pulled it I pulled it off because the lip started dragging. Dang, I didn't know there was snow up here. Yeah, oh, and thanks wow. for the warning. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Sick. Hey, this is the first time seeing the 300 DX in person. We yeah, had too bad you couldn't see it together because yo, this thing is sick in person. Dang, I'll put I'll put this back. Dude, I can look at that. Extra cold air. <laughs> Freaking super cold uh cold right there. Ice, ice, baby, ice. Yeah, no, I could put, I could throw this back on, but okay. yeah, we can put it back on. I'll, I'll do it later. Once the snow melts, <laughs> let's get to the, let's get to let's the get to topic the at hand. Let's get to the, the drama. The topic at hand here, man. Uh, hey, what do you think about this like hair clip thing, huh? It's I think like, you look like a, a it's Shaquita. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, it's like that weird stage where it's not quite long enough yet to do something fun. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you take me somewhere to get my hair braided? And well, damn, fat girl. <laughs> you ready? Come on, ready? Luna. Hey. There she goes. There she goes. She's so derpy. Yeah. Big ass puppy. I want to do something fun with this. Like, you know, get get a weave or something. I mean, you, you're going bald up top. So. I know, so we should weave it in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. Topic at hand. Listen, the listen. matter at hand here. So, from the title, you guys seen that. <laughs> listen up, listen up. All right. <laughs> Homie who said we stole his rap, guess what? Whoever gave him the design lied to him and sold it to the world. Okay? <laughs> he said that we have the same rap. I had that rap since October. Uh, it was exclusive for me and blah, blah, blah. He sent me that message on uh, Instagram. Mind you, I'm in the middle of dealing with all the dog stuff. And that's like, I don't, I don't feel like dealing with no, no bullshit. So. He sends me that and I basically tell him like, hey, I'm like, my boy had this rendered up for my car. Um, he had already had preset designs. We went through like, how many was it? All right, there was like 50, like 100 of them, right? So if you guys go on my RAS page or on my webpage, paradoxstyling.com, you can get all the colors there. Uh, there are a whole bunch of preset designs that our company would just go out and buy. So this is one of them i literally go hey mike you want to do a cool color he was looking at a teal to a gray fade which he didn't really like the transition and then mike was like oh let me do like a nardo gray to some kind of other color fade um since teal doesn't really show up on camera well right? yes and then mike saw this fade with the graphic on it and he was like uh we're gonna go with that one we had went through all these different colors and we narrowed it down to literally two and I did a, a poll basically between uh, the homies, like, hey, which one do y'all think? 
and everybody voted on this one. So I was like, all right, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do this one. Y'all y'all know me, man. You guys seen my cars? I'm not a person to go and be like, oh, I seen this dude's car. I want my car exactly like that. Everything that I've done thus far is different from any of my cars, including my FD. You don't see cars that look like mine. I I like pride myself in being different and doing things that are out of the norm from everybody else. That's just that's just my thing. And Paradox is a witness to that. Anytime we do a color, next thing you know, the and color goes everywhere. That's why we're constantly changing routes. Hey, every time this one does a color, like the like the Nardo Grays, the freaking Candy Volcano, as soon as we upload that thing, sold. Whole bunch of them. Whole bunch of rolls. People love it. Okay? So back to you know, I'm not I'm not one to copy somebody. So when dude hit me up and I told him I looked at his car, I'm like, dude, our cars do not look the same. Like they look super different. No, no, it's the exact same file. I have that file it was sent to me. I have the rights to it, this and that. So <laughs> after rice. that, he sent me more pictures of his car and I'm, I'm already fed up and I'm like, you know what, whatever, we're going to see who just wears it best. And then as I'm looking at his, uh, his profile, he's on, I see he's on uh, YouTube live. He starts his little live and he's like, big YouTuber copies my rap. So I'm like, 10 people watching it, bro. I don't count. Yeah, okay. it was, when you live, it was, it was and 17 and <laughs> one was me and one was you, so 15 technically. No, 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 I didn't even watch it live. I waited till it was done to go in there and troll and see what was happening. So, anyway, yeah, so I go on there and I tell him, I'm like, I jump on the live to, you know, like, all right, let's 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 clear this up on his live. He's, oh, I have the original file. This guy doesn't even give credit to the artist. I'm like, bro, I am a consumer. I have no clue who made the design. I have zero clue at all who made the design. All I know is Paradox had a thing of like. 70 yeah. to pick from right and i was like you know what these are preset we're done we're gonna we're gonna get one of these so i'm like i don't know the artist and i explained that to him on the live and this dude just goes i got sent a book of designs to pick from and that's what we voted up on my vet dude i don't know who the fuck made that design or who lied to you and what japan company said that they made that but they didn't and out of all the designs in that book you picked the one that is already existent on a C6Z is a little sus. You know how when you can tell somebody's doing and acting a certain way because they have an audience and they're trying to, they want the drama to continue? As I'm trying to explain, he's like, this dude clearly doesn't comprehend. And I'm like, you know what, whatever, I'm gonna bounce out the live. And then I tell him, I'm like, yo, if we wanna talk, I'll call you on Instagram where you messaged me. So I messaged him on Instagram after all that. And I'm like, yo, it is unfortunate that we have similar raps. I'm like, but I've never seen your stuff so I couldn't have possibly copied you. I've never seen your car once. And I'm like, on top of that, our cars do not look the same. The wraps do not look the same. This job's different, bro. Like, okay, yeah. first off. Hold on, hold on. Before we even get to that, let me finish explaining. I sent them pictures of the car in this stage right here. I'm like, you know, I compared them. I'm like, look, our cars don't look the same. You know, I do my digging and investigating. Here's the artist, Joyride Design. Pay attention to this picture. I want to show you guys this picture. If you look at this one right here, this looks damn near spot on to the Joyride Design's actual design. If you look at his car, he says he has the complete file, the vector and all that, but his does not fade like this. I don't know between the him getting the files from Joyride, if the person that printed it just, what, what do you think? They either had a shitty computer or he went to do some editing to change, like he got rid of the then what, and then the X's got moved around to a different position. And then they the, look smaller though. Yeah. His X's aren't proportional well, his, like and ours. Then his X's are higher up and they look kind of crooked, right? And then the fade is not even existent. Like yeah, his looks like it goes from a flat black to like a so, flat dark dark gray. So how are you gonna copy somebody that doesn't even look the same? Yeah, it, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show y'all the pictures here. You guys can see his car next to the actual uh, vector file that he supposedly got. This is the car that the design was made for. So look at this file. This is his car next to that file. You guys can see that my car actually has like symmetrical uh, shape compared to the, the other car that the render was actually made on. And then when you look at all three cars all together, you can clearly see that our cars don't look the same. My fade is way more drastic than his. Um, my X's are bigger than his. The placement on the X's are different. Like it's, you know, I have a gloss and- um, The X's are also a different shade of yeah, his X's are like green. Mines are like a tealish color. You guys know, teal is my color, and that's the reason I picked this. If these X's were any other color, like a lime green or, or orange or, or whatever, I probably wouldn't have did it. But this has been my this has been my color. The, the teal has always been my thing. Even the uh, original design on the Audi has a lot more X's, like the gray ones, sprinkled around. So 
there is some variation in between the two, but the idea is the same shirt. I guess he won the design in a, a giveaway or a raffle or whatever. He said he that's how he got the uh, the full rights and the file to it. But I guess he was under the impression that since he won the file, that it was going to be exclusive. I think he thought that he was going to be the only person that had access to it. So if you go to Joyride's actual website and look, you can find this exact design for sale. It wasn't like they, they created the design and be like, here, this is exclusively for you. Right. He actually made the design and did a free giveaway on it, I guess. And I guess the dude was under the impression that he was going to be the only one with the file. Because if you pull up the, uh, where's the paper that came with the wrap? Okay. So on his thing, he was super curious as to how we got the files. I just want to know how the f he got these renderings and is like, has like, the source files to like print this, you know? We actually got the files and made it to a C6. That way we knew the placement. You look at the placement on here right. and you look at it on ours, clearly we have the files. So anytime you're getting a design wrap, uh, it, they will send you, any company that prints one out will send you a render like this. Maybe some, maybe one with the top as well. If you have a lot of design on the top. And when you want a, uh, specific render that is custom to you a one-off you need to hire an artist get that done and then sign, have him sign a contract that says i will never sell this design to anyone else okay yeah, so. and you're gonna pay a lot of money for that now an artist can do this and then they'll put it on their website and other companies like mine will buy it anytime you buy a, a printed wrap uh, you would send me, after you make the purchase, you would send me a picture of your car, your make and model, and then we will make a render just like that. Uh, and then you have to approve of it before we even print it. So that's why it takes a little longer. But back to that, it would be impossible for us to fully copy that design without having the files. We couldn't make this symmetrical without having the files. And if we're gonna be technical and really be technical about it, my, my vet's clearly gonna be rocking it better. <laughs> clearly. Right. And that's not, that's not a diss. I'm, the thing that made me kind of upset was when he was like, oh, this dude has a base. Do you think a stock C6 Z06 looks better than this? Uh, absolutely f not. not. The grandma wheels rocking? Yeah, like, absolutely not. Come no. on, man, look at that. <laughs> look at that nice carbon fiber. You guys have never seen me go at another YouTuber. Anytime I've ever mentioned somebody, it was because of bad business. Somebody did bad business or they were doing shady business or whatever. I'm not one to be like, oh, I'm gonna start beef with this YouTuber uh, for, for promo. Like, just like it, there's like potential here as a marketing play. Never, ever. Usually I probably would have ignored him, but Paradox was like, dude, you should make the video. We're gonna do the C8 in the same color too. You wanna be twins, baby? <laughs> And I'm gonna start a video saying you copied me. <laughs> Let's do that. Say I won't say I won't see eight this thing. Outside of the BS, this thing looks sick. You like it? I love it. So far, it, it actually looks better in person once you like put it on. Because now you got the wide body fenders. You can see some of the rippling from your carbon a little bit. Oh yeah, you so can see the carbon peeking through. Yeah. This fade is actually what makes it look good, in my opinion, because I was like, Mike, what? Why do you want a then what and then a bunch of X's on your car? It doesn't make any sense. Then, I did it for the fade. I did it for the fade and the teal. <laughs> and then when I actually put it on, I was like, oh, this is like a huge fade. I'm like, okay. A fade with a design, that's cool. I'm down. But yeah, you can see the carbon fiber through here too, which is sick. I don't know if y'all can pick it up on video, but. Yeah, it's like a ripply carbon fiber. Yeah, I can see it. That is sick. Interesting. Ah, oh, still can see the carbon. <laughs> Hey, I can cut these vents out and make these, I don't know, something. You can see the carbon. People that are watching this, y'all got an exclusive like behind the scenes of the car before we uh, actually revealed it because of all the, the fuckery that's going on. But yeah, man, um, I really wish we could have went about this a different way. I was planning on just doing the podcast with him, but after all the wild talking, man, and, and him like just being kind of like a, eh, like just eh, on his thing. Yeah, and talking like ice. Yeah, Paradox maliciously followed him for all this time and then stole it from him somehow. I went to his computer with my Asian hacking skills and then hacked the file out of his computer just so we can do it on mics. <laughs> slander! 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 He slandered us! Well, and we, and we're, we're paying customers. I'm just a consumer here. Yeah, like I said, this is only one of hundreds of design. If you want a, your own design done, get an artist, 
you can send the file. Don't send me the file file that you can like recreate it. Just send the image of the four sides with the top and what you want it to look like and we can probably make it. So if you don't want your stuff copied, don't put it on the internet. Someone's gonna get an artist to go remake this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but if you wanna see this render and any other one, Mike will link the description on where you can get it below at paradoxstyling.com. Oh yeah, and don't forget, anytime you go to paradoxstyling.com, you can use the code uh, Mike Mike to get $20 off. Is it $20? $25, what was it? $25. $25 off your uh, rap roll or anything on the website. If something on the website is $25, bucks, you use my code, you get it for free. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. For free? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. $25, ah. <laughs> I remember you guys were saying on the last video when I told Paradox, I did not like the C8. Bruh, they said I was hating on you. Oh, they, they said you were mad hating. Dude, before you got the car, before you even thought about getting the car, didn't I tell you I did not like the C8, right? Yeah, people don't like different cars, you know what I mean? Like, that's just what it is, what it is. And the only reason why we got this is because it looks exotic for the price. Anything that looks exotic, <laughs> Like you can you can get a Gallardo, which I just wrapped and I, I didn't really like it because if you don't you never should get a Lamborghini unless it does the door thing, you know what I mean? Or you can get a 350Z that has Lambo doors. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the next thing up is an R8, which is V10, but it doesn't look that exotic. And then you're up in like the 200 k range. Paradox ain't balling like that yet, so yeah, here it are. is. Here yeah, it is. Are. Next year. Right. <laughs> I know I know how much you made this year. Yeah, but you gotta pay for all this shit, so you know. Million dollar house. Next next year, maybe we'll get the, the good Lambo, you know. But yeah, I wasn't hating. I wasn't hating on my boy. I'm happy for him. I'm I'm glad he finally got a, a a cool looking car. Me personally, I'm just not a C8 fan, and and that's not because I don't like the look of it. I just don't like the the mid engine. Like for me, I like I like drifting. I like sliding. Yes, this car will be a car that that handles fantastic in the roads. It will do great in the drag because it has all the weight over the rear end yeah. but when it comes to drifting this thing this thing will not slide right it'll have too much rear grip and that's why me personally i don't like the ca who knows maybe my opinion will change with the z06 because obviously the bases are are narrow and didn't i tell you i said bro wait for the z06 yeah, right he did, he did. But I, said, I, need, I need that tax right off this year not next year <laughs> i told him wait for the z06 because we all know the z06 is going to come out looking dope the z06 is gonna have the wide body this is gonna make this thing look crazy yeah so when the z06 come out it's very simple you trade this in whatever the difference <laughs> is is another tax right off so it works out we're gonna need another one next year anyway so you know we'll i mean this looks it looks good from right here so i have a whole bunch of beaters so to make the the wrap channel move forward obviously you have to get something nice and then you put one of my colors on a nice car and everyone's like, hmm. You gotta do the then what? And then what? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna do the co-start? Let's go, co-start, come on. This might be my first time riding in a C8. I feel like I'm sitting in a roller coaster on at Six Flags or something. I'm 6'2", so, I mean, I mean, it's, it's enough room. I wish I could go back a little more. You can't. Nah, this is it. That's hella sweet. You said this is hella space? Yeah. I mean, my, my knee is like curved, bro. <laughs> yeah, oh, you gotta fully recline? This is it. I don't go back no further. Good thing I have a, uh, a, where's this? a weather mode. What is all these buttons? Where's this? Man, where's the seat warmer at? Oh, uh, seat warmer right here. You yeah, see this? See that. Oh, yeah. uh, about down here, I think. Oh, no. Right here. There you go. Seat line? warmer. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three. We're on three. My booty code. What's this thing? The seat fan? Copyright. Come on. You know better whoa, whoa, than this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright, bro. What's this one? This one uh, like, that's my butt. I don't know. You play with it. I have, I have actually played with all the buttons on this thing, but I do have. Oh, no, this is blue, so it's. AC. Oh, look, look. Let's check it out. This is the sickest right here, right? So look, you can go from sport mode, the screen will change, to track mode. Put this in eco snow mode. Oh yeah, I got snow mode. Check I it do? Out. Yeah. Look. Weather. <laughs> Technology. All right, let's go grab some fur. Floor it, floor it, floor it! No, <laughs> floor it! I'll lose it. <laughs> Paradox can't drive that good, okay? Y'all see the videos. Duh, you Asian, fool. <laughs> Fit the stereotype. Wait, I thought Asians drive hella good. Oh, you got not Americanized ones. You gotta be Japanese. Yeah, you're not a, you're not Japanese. Not taking anything away from the artist himself. Uh, I'm glad dude reached out because now we found a, a dope artist and mm. I've messaged him and Paradox oh, have both messaged him and we're gonna do some 
you know, we're trying to reach out to do some custom designs on uh, on our cars. So um, hopefully he gets back to us about networking. It's not to be petty, to be like, oh, look, we got work done to him. But like none of that. But we think he's a dope artist. And um, like I said, I didn't know that he was the original designer of the artwork. I seen in his in his uh, on his Instagram that he said that this design right here was his most copied uh, artwork to date. And that's why he did the giveaway on it. I'm going to take the proper steps to get a hold of the artist and give him credit for his work. And it's not that we want to down, down credit his work. It's just that at the time it happened, neither one of us had no clue. We just knew that this was an option for us to, uh, for us to pick through. We weren't the ones who went and made it or nothing like that. We just know that his sources in Asia or whatever the hell they were had that design and I liked it. So, but uh, hopefully the artist sees this, he reaches out or he just responds to the message or the email. I sent them a, a message on IG and a message through uh, email. I think Paradox hit him up also. Oh yeah, dude. These so, designs are dope. I'm looking for some fire, custom work, Fire, fire, man. <laughs> dope ass, dope artist, dude. Super dope artist. And um, looking at his work, if if we can network, man, I'm definitely gonna be putting a, a custom one-off wrap on my C5. Yeah, man, with all that being said, this ends up turning to be a whole bunch of bullshit. I was gonna let it slide, but my boy Paradox is like, nope, hey, nope. Man, you gotta set the record straight. <clears throat> so that's yeah <laughs> anywho we out man we about to finish enjoying this nice c8 let's go baby we got food in the in the hood was that the hood the frunk the frunk <laughs> <laughs> that's what they call in it in the frunk the front trunk the frunk of the car <laughs> I've been going too crazy, these niggas too shady